Hey guys, welcome to Hyla Cooking, breakthrough new cooking show brought to you by me, Hyla, and my friend behind the camera, whom you cannot see and who wishes to remain anonymous. You may recognize me from my movie career, which consists of several sex tapes and an unfinished documentary of my band, The Hottest Shits, cause duh. But we still play, so come check it out sometime. It's pretty rockin'. After the whole Hollywood thing, I decided to return to my Texas roots, T-State, ATX, and start this cooking show because I'm a really good cook, my friends tell me. I'm not a chef by any means. So I don't want a bunch of lip if I give you some misinformation. You don't need to be writing nasty comments, correcting me about how the internal temperature of poultry is not in fact 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, because duh, I already found that out after I got food poisoning. For this first episode, I'm gonna go over just a few super basic kitchen accoutrements that everybody should have so that they can cook for themselves like a grown-up and not look like a dildo in front of their new boyfriend or girlfriend. All right, number one, get a big knife. Go ahead and get a, an eight inch knife and that'll help you, I mean, you can pretty much cut anything with this and you could even use it like a paring knife if you're super duper careful. Uh, one very important thing to look for when you're buying a knife is that the tang, that's right, I said tang, this is the tang. It's the part of the blade that goes into the handle. You want to make sure that that actually extends the length of the handle, and that's going to make sure that your handle is not going to fly off of the knife blade at a very inopportune moment. Bad cooking technique. All right, next is a cutting board. This is a minimum size. I don't know what the hell this size is. Eight by ten? I had no idea. Um, anyway, this is bamboo. You can get pl plastic or wood. Uh, I don't care. Just wash it with hot water after you cut anything raw or dead on it. Uh, cast iron skillet is probably the thing I use the most. This is a eight inch skillet, I think. Um, this is pretty much good for anything. Get one and season it really well. That's probably gonna be another episode. But once you get it seasoned, uh, when you wash it, don't use soap. Just scrub it out with a plastic scrubby dealy. Um, and then put a couple drops of oil in it and spread it around and then heat it up again and then wipe out any excess oil and that'll keep it it's pretty much non-stick once you have it really seasoned really well it's awesome um a giant pot the thing about a giant pot is you can make pasta for your girlfriend sometime so you should do that also if you don't have a giant mixing bowl you can use your big pot also if you ever need to like dye some clothes you can use your big pot big pots are awesome and then a spatula Get a metal one, since we're not going to be messing around with Teflon pans and stuff. Um, I would say like a giant spoon too might be helpful, but you could just use like a spoon out of your utensils drawer that your grandma gave you. So that's the basic stuff that you need. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. You can get it anywhere. You could get it online at Amazon. You could go to Target. You could go to Ikea. I don't care. Just get it. And then you'll have the stuff that you need so that you can cook like an involved human being. Come on, people. All right, we'll be having another episode every week. Let's check it out at HylaCooking.com or be my fan on Facebook at Facebook.com slash HylaCooking. And I only have 200 friends, but I need a lot more than that if I'm going to get famous. So hook me up. Next week, fish tacos. It's not what you think. Actually, it is. It's just fish tacos.